Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a small village. Her grandmother, who lived on the other side of the village, had made her a pretty red riding hood. She loved it so much that she wore it everywhere she went. The people in the village got so used to seeing her in it that they took to calling her Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> One day, her mother called her over. Little Red Riding Hood, please bring this basket to your grandmother's house. Mmm, smells good. She is very ill and cannot get out of bed. Taking the basket, Little Red Riding Hood started down the road. Hurry, dear. Grandma must be very hungry. I will, Mother. Remember, don't talk to strangers. You meet on the road. And always keep to the main path. Don't worry, Mother. I'll remember. And with that, Little Red Riding Hood walked off in the direction of her grandmother's house with a basket in her hand. Little Red Riding Hood continued to follow the path until it led into a forest. As she passed through the forest, a wolf appeared from behind the bushes. Hello there, Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, 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 hello. Uh, how are you? Where are you off to in such a hurry? I am on my way to visit my grandma. Mmm, I see. What have you got in that basket there? It's bread and wine for my grandma. She's very ill. Mmm, is she? You must be a very nice girl. Does she live far? <laughs> Not really. Her house is just over the hill next to the three oak trees. The wolf's mouth watered as he formed an evil plan in his head. Hmm. First, I can gobble up the grandma. Then I'll swallow Little Red Riding Hood. And then I can wash them down with the treats in that basket. <laughs> the wolf followed Little Red Riding Hood down the path and soon began to talk to her again. Look over there, Little Red Riding Hood. Do you see those lovely yellow flowers? Oh, you're right. They're beautiful. <laughs> Distracted by the pretty flowers, Little Red Riding Hood forgot all about her mother's warning. And stepped off the path to take a closer look. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Let that silly little Red Riding Hood enjoy her flowers. Meanwhile, I'm going to Grandma's house. <laughs> When the wolf knocked on Grandma's door, a faint voice answered him from inside the house. Uh, who is it? It's me, Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood. Please let me in. <laughs> I've come to bring you some freshly baked bread and delicious wine. 
<laughs> oh, that is so nice. Come in. The door is open. Come on in. <laughs> Throwing open the door, the wolf sprang into the house. Grandma screamed. Oh, you're not my granddaughter. You're a wolf. Yeah. With an evil <laughs> laugh, the wolf pounced on her and swallowed her whole. <laughs> Disguising himself in Grandma's nightgown, cap, and glasses, the wolf lay down in her bed and pulled up the covers. <laughs> Soon I'll be snacking on Little Red Riding Hood, too. I can almost taste her already. Finally, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's house. Hello, Grandma! It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Can I come in? The door is open! Come on in! When Little Red Riding Hood entered the house, she instantly felt that something had changed in her grandmother's appearance. Oh, Grandma! Why are your ears so big? Oh, to hear your s sweet voice better, my dear. What happened to your eyes? Why are they so wide and scary? Oh. To see your lovely face better, sweetheart. Wh why are your teeth so long and sharp? Mm, to... Chew you better, darling, <laughs> when I eat you. Before Little Red Riding Hood could move, the wolf leapt out of bed. <laughs> Pounced on her and swallowed her whole just like her grandmother. <laughs> um, that was yummy. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Now all I need after such a satisfying snack is a good nap. <sighs> the wolf ate so much his stomach was full. And the wolf drifted off to sleep, snoring loudly. <sighs> At that very moment, a hunter was passing by Grandma's house. He was surprised to hear the loud snoring and began to suspect that something odd was going on. That doesn't sound like Grandma at all. It sounds like some savage beast. The hunter peeked in through the window and saw the wolf. Aha! That monster must have eaten poor Grandma. Sneaking quietly into the house, the hunter aimed his rifle at the sleeping wolf. But just as he was about to shoot, the wolf's bulging belly began to wiggle. Oh, it looks like Grandma is still trapped in the wolf's stomach. The hunter brought a pair of scissors and cut open the wolf's stomach. 
Grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood jumped out alive and unharmed. Thank you for saving us, Mr. Hunter. I'm so glad you're both all right. But what should we do about that wolf? Let's teach the wolf a lesson and stuff his stomach with rocks. Little Red Riding Hood brought some heavy rocks that she gathered outside and loaded them into the wolf's stomach. When she was done, Grandma stitched the wolf back up. My stomach! Uh, what happened to my stomach? Uh, why does it hurt so much? The rocks in the wolf's stomach were so heavy he couldn't get up off the bed. He tossed and turned until he toppled off the edge and fell to the floor dead. Everyone cheered. <laughs> that day, Little Red Riding Hood learned an important lesson, too. She promised that from that moment on, she would always listen to her mother and never talk to strangers. Aladdin and the Magic Lamp The Little Prince Five Peas A Dog of Flanders The Pied Piper The Country Mouse and the City Mouse The Snow Queen Carrot Head Pinocchio Les Miserables 